Hi, my name is Gilbert Gauci. I'm an actor in community theatre, and uh, with no theatre going on, I started writing and performing my own monologues and sharing them with friends. Uh, they're usually comedies, I've written four so far, and I'm rather thrilled that Beaumars Theatre Company has allowed me to release my fifth one as part of their Theatre at Home series. This is a comedy routine which I call Don't Feed the Snakes, and I hope you enjoy it. I really appreciate you guys coming to help me. I know none of you are that eager to handle snakes, considering the freakish behaviour of the animals here lately. As of which, we are bizarrely understaffed. Poor Greg got pecked to death by the penguins last week. Phyllis was tossed by an elephant into the hyena enclosure. And Stu got impaled on an echidna. Look, let's not dwell on it. I got a real shock this morning. Looked in the arachnid enclosure. We're missing a grey-backed spider. If that crawls up a visitor's leg and bites them, could be a lawsuit on our hands. Or another funeral. Anyway, got a real treat for ya. Three new species of snakes, recently discovered and named. Now we're not handling any red bellies or tiger snakes or brown snakes here, but still, we gotta handle these with extreme care. Okay. Let's get our first serpent out, just ever so carefully, grab her by the tail, out of the bag, easy, whoa, easy girl, yeah, take a look at this beaut, this here is a devil taipan, uh, they're venomous but uh, their fangs are rather small so not enough to bite you, well, not enough to kill you anyway. And see, what we need to do with this one is we've got to measure it. So, uh, Kiri, uh, with your hook, just slip it around its neck and... Now, Kiri, don't back away now. Now, Kiri, I'm rather short-handed here. Don't be a coward, all right? Whoa. Yeah, I know you just want to handle the marsupials and the wombats and the platypus. Well, not the platypus, considering last Friday they slashed... Look. Let's not go into that again. Look, I'm just going to hook it. Just get up here on the table. And just get it in the right spot. Just... Yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. Hang on. Hang on. There we go. There we go. All right. Coming down. Yep. All right. Don't be shy, Kiri. Just slip your hook around its neck. Yep. 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 You got it. You got it. You got it. Yep. 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 Yep, all right, all right, yep, all right, yeah, see, nothing to it. James, grab the middle, there we go, and Ed, take the tail. The tail hasn't got fangs, Ed, grab it. Did it just whack you on the face? Honestly, Ed. Right, let's measure this butte. All right, Kiri, grab this end. All right, you got your hands full. Ed, take this end. And tell me, how much does that read? Oh, beaut, all right. Did that whack you in the face as well? Come on, Ed. First a snake tail and then a measuring tape, both to the face. If you're not more careful, you'll be next to go. Oh, yeah. Right, give me the tail. Okay. Now, James, let go of the middle. There we go. All right. You keep your shirt on, Kiri. Right. You got it? Yep. Just going to hook it here. There we go. Right. And just slip it off. Yep. You got it? Yep. Ooh. Oh, what a beaut. There you go, girl. See? Nothing to it. What's the matter? It bit you. Oh, for Pete's sake, Kiri. Well, you didn't get out of the way in time. No, you can't go now. I'm right a short-handed here. I need your help. Look, you're not going to die. Just strap a bandage around it. If you're that worried about it, we do have the anti-venom. It's in the cabinet. The one labelled Devil Taipan. Right. Our next snake... We actually have to milk it of its venom, but we're in pretty good shape here. 
just a small little thing. Let me, let me just get it out of the bag. Here we go. Oh, look at this little bugger. This here is a gummy viper. They were going to call it a gummy snake, but they were afraid kids would try to eat it. Confuse it with the lollies. Uh, now, it does have venom dripping from the roof of its mouth, but it behaves more like a python and swallows its prey. So, what I'll get you to do, Ed, is just put your gloves on and just place its upper jaw over the container, over the venom container. There, yep. Ed, now, don't put your finger on the snake's head. You never touch a snake on the head, Ed. Crush its little brain. Just because they've got a bigger brain than yours. All right, all right, all right. Okay, next one. Now, I'm not going to use the tongs for this one. This one's a real softy. Here we go. Just get him out here. Oh, look at this beaut. This one here is a cat hair rattlesnake. Now, not common to have rattlesnakes in Australia, and usually they're quite venomous, but this one here, this one's a real docile creature. Bays more like a python as well, just strangles and swallows its prey, and can go on weeks without eating uh, before having its next meal. But this one hasn't been eating for a long time, and I'm rather worried about it. So, James, I'll tell you what, just get it around your shoulders. Yep, just like that. Yep, hold it like a python. There we go. Yep, want to try to entice it with some food. Maybe feed it a mouse or something. Yep, uh, yeah, careful. It's kind of winding its way around your neck there. Yep, yep, let me just... Ooh, James, James. Yep, yep, get a hold of it. Get a hold of it. Uh, Ed, help him out. Ed. What's that dripping from your mouth? How'd you get the viper's venom in your mouth? Whacked you in the face. Ed, James here is strangling to death and you're... Ed? Ed? Oh, God. Ed? Oh, James? Uh, uh. All right, Kiri. Looks like it's you and me. What I need you to do is... Kiri? Kiri? Oh, great. Just terrific. Well... That's three new jobs available. Oh, hello there, little fella. Where have you been? Where have you been off to?